what's up and welcome to this channel so by the way this is kazuki and official so for today's video i am going to show you what are some uh, free tools we can use to edit our short videos and other uh, videos such as highlights of your games or even blogs for free so this is CapCut. as you can as you may know that CapCut is one of the most popular application in android and even in ios that you can use to edit your videos quickly so right now if you have your own pc you can basically edit your videos using CapCut in website so this is as you can see here i am here at capcut.com okay so this is capcut.com so go here and then the link is on the description below of this video so just go here and download this for windows so you can edit your videos in uh, what do we call it? in your PC. So mine, I already download this one and install it on my PC. And this is the application. Okay. So, but if you don't have any PC or you are working in your, uh, for example, like uh, you want to edit it on your website, you can just by simply logging in. Okay so first we are going to show you or i am going to show you the uh, ways on how to edit your shorts or some videos in web so just open the uh, new tab and then type in capcut.com okay then just sign up for free so the link is below the description guys then you can use the sign up with google tiktok or facebook or you, or you can just basically input manually your email okay so mine i am going to log in using my email here okay once i'm logging login okay. okay so this is the environment inside the application uh, of or i mean the editor of CapCut in the browser okay so at first when you are signing up you will be asking to create your workspace but then I already signed up, so that's it. Uh, you can skip this one as well. So, okay. So, by the way, you can pick Black Canvas, uh, TikTok for, uh, format, and YouTube ads format. So, in, for this video, I am going to show you this one. I already created a video of uh, this is a test. Okay, so. If you click this uh, TikTok, for example, you can you, the new tab will be op will open, and you will see here this is one of the uh, editor. You will be redirected to this editor, and you can drop your videos here. Okay, so let's say I am I already uploaded my videos. Okay, so wait, let's just wait for a couple of seconds. And as you can see here, the video is appear in this area here and for example you want to uh, edit this video just long press this one and drag it here on timeline okay here just click this video so for example let's say you have some uh, particular clip in this video that you want to cut just click this one split and then next if you want to cut this one in this area just click again you will see a highlight then cut then if you want to remove this uh, particular cut you can just basically click this one or just click delete on your keyboard okay so that's that okay as you can see here we already removed the clip uh, specifically so as you can see here you can also flip this one mirror so as you can see here diana is facing at the right side but if we click this one it is now flip or mirrored on the other side so that's how par powerful this tool is and then if you want to wrap or maximize the uh, size of your video just click the specific timeline for example just make sure for example let's say your indicator here is in this area and you click this one just make sure just that you put it in a correct position so you can see your video that you are going to resize for example this one 
just drag long press and drag this video here okay like that okay but you can also do that let's go back go back okay let's go back you can do that here in the other corner you can do the uh what do we have here cut out background change the background so let's say you can change that one and you want this video in center of the background or you can add a speed for example this one let's just add a speed click this one and then speed and you can add speed so you can see it is reduced the size of and when you play that one will uh adjust in speed okay you can also add text more text here you can add template trending a uh, font design basic okay there's so much more in this area and you can also by the way you can also generate a caption okay so the one, for example you have your videos uh with a caption talking or it will automatically generate based on the voice of the video uh the voice that are uh, generated by you or inside your video so that's that just click the video and then create this recognized voice and you can choose any language okay so for now they have only this uh language available it's that and you can also add stickers can add stickers just drag in a specific area to appear on a specific uh, line that all right then you know, the uh, sticker appear on specific area okay. then effects can also add effects for your video if you want this kind of effects just drag it in timeline and you want the whole video to have this kind of effect just maximize it using this one over your mouse and then you will see this icon then drag it all the way to the end and you will see the video will appear with this kind of effects so there's so many effects here you can explore and test and there's a transition so this transition is basically used in this for example you want to have a smooth transition of a particular clip just basically drag that one and insert in that uh, video okay? okay so that's that there are so many uh, transition here and filters so if you want your if you want your video to have a dark brown effects so let's say this one that okay as you can see the video uh, filter is changed so this is how you can edit your video inside the browse uh, I mean the inside the uh, cap cut uh, using browser so in the uh, application of cap cut so this is the application that I install already so just click start you can sign in if you want and you can uh, go directly if you want to make your videos quickly and then you can modify by the way this is by default a square video so let's say I'll we'll try to import videos here um, let's see uh okay this one let's try this one this is just for a test okay so as you can see by default it is showed as square or for youtube only but if you want to edit a specific video for tiktok so for example just remove it first then go here modify and then you will see a resolution adapter okay then click customize just swap this one from 1920 over here then this one to replace here so let's just cut this one in type in 1080 and then this 1920 so that is how you are going to 
create a short video or a format for TikTok and on YouTube Shorts or even in Facebook Reels. That is now format. As you can see, we change it and this resolution. So once we drag this video here, and as you can see, the video is now format in TikTok format. So if you want to scale it up all the way in this format, just click the video and then scale like that, and you have your now you have now your videos formatted in a TikTok reels or shorts format. Then same you can cut cut the video okay then delete some particular video that add text okay add text here you can also do that here then design the text you just scroll down and add this one and edit the text that this you can basically put some maximize text here say let's do this one and then just go down then increase the height and the width okay this is this for sure video for example this is just a text okay start it one all the way here so let's make it like that this is how you do it guys and just put it like that so that is how you add some text on the video using this windows application of CapCut. and you can also add stickers effects transitions and filters so this is how you can edit videos for your shorts or your blog so so if you want to download or get this uh, application, this is free. There is no uh, fee for this one. But by the way, I need to show you something. You can only use. You have limit only for browser 1.14 gig for browser. So once this uh, limit storage reach, um, you can't upload anymore. So just to reduce that one just delete the materials and re-upload the project so in my own opinion i prefer using this desktop application of CapCut. so if you have any question just leave a comment below thank you